if you held IFM every month, I think it would be important because this conference had close to 600 people, I believe. The majority of health conferences, I've been here 12 years, the majority of conferences I attend may have 300 people, okay? The, the speakers are basically trying to sell their MRIs or their pharmaceuticals or whatever. This is one of the very few, unfortunately, but this is the truth, uh, this is one of the few conferences where the speakers are actually saying things that are relevant, necessary, valuable, and important, and that's why so many people show up. You know, and so once a year, no, maybe once a month is too much, but definitely once a year. And in between, even if there were some webinars and some other things, because at the end of the day, the, these people are at the front line. They're dealing with the patients on a daily basis. They will be the ones that in a few years will have gene sequencers on their desks. And you will see so much of traditional healthcare pushed into their arena. So this will become more and more and more important, certainly not less. And that's the truth. We are talking, we're signing MOUs, we're doing pilot projects, but we are not doing anything when it comes to really significantly improving healthcare. There is so much that we could do to massively improve healthcare while at the same time cutting costs. We could slash healthcare spending here in half. This was my first time to speak at this conference. Uh, I've heard about it for years. Um, and when I was invited to speak, I was, I was honored uh, because I know the quality and the caliber of the speakers uh, tend to have tremendous clinical backgrounds. Uh, they tend to be some of the better clinicians and researchers in, in the area.